They're off. Six furlongs, the Group 2 Close Brothers July Stakes. A short prize favourite, Persian Force Violet Jacket, away well with show respect in the pale silks and the nose banded King's Crown towards the near side. And they uh, round out the leading trio. The pace looks fairly leisurely through the first furlong and a half. Harry Time with the hoop sleeves chases the leading three with Waiting All Night, the Black Cap, Brave Nation, Green and Yellow, a mysterious night. Uh, the white faced Colt held up at the back of the field, just switched towards the near side. Two and a half furlongs completed in the July stakes. They're moving towards halfway. King's Crown in the noseband. Show respect out in the centre. Persian force up between and Violet Jacket. Then Harry Time, the hoop sleeves, waiting all night. Mysterious night towards the extreme left, close to the near side, running round, making an effort. Brave Nation, green and yellow, finessed into it down the middle. Downhill now towards the last furlong and a half. Persian force under the rail has moved through to take over here from Show Respect. Harry Time is being pulled out into the centre, running on from Brave Nation. Mysterious night trying to burrow through in behind. Deep inside the furlong though, it's Persian Force a couple of lengths clear. Show Respect is chasing, but he's chasing in vain. Persian Force, an irresistible force, wins the July stakes from Show Respect, followed home by Mysterious Knight. Persian Force looked really, really good there to win a fourth July stakes for Richard Hannon. Back-to-back -back wins, won it like Isar and Memas. Really good performance. Yeah, delighted with him. You know, he put the race to bed kind of a long way out and he deserved that compensation for Asuka. I... A little bit gutted when he got beat at Ascot, and you know he's done that very well. Hopefully, on that, on their way to better things. I've been so impressed with him every time he's run. I know things didn't go quite to plan at Ascot, but I still came away with a very positive view about him. What's your plan now? Might you be tempted by something like the Nunthal? No, <coughs> not really. Um, I think he's he'll get obviously he gets six very well. I think he'll get seven. I didn't see the need to come back to five. I, I think something like the middle, obviously the middle part, the morning and the, the national stakes in Ireland would be um, all, you know, options for him. Probably the most likely options. Six and further on I hear you, I hear you about the Nunthorpe, you know, it, it proves a point, but he is very fast. You could come back to five. You know, but you're taking on older horses there and I just think it's easier sticking to two-year-olds. It's more of a trying to make a stallion of him. You know, his stallion Maymas was second in the commentary and won the July stakes. And he's such a likeable colt. He has a little more scope than Maymas did. You know, he's taller, but he's just the loveliest attitude, just like he did. And you think, what do you think he'll be as a three-year-old? I mean, we never got to find out with Maymas. I'm hoping that we would do with him. My dad rang me after the commentary and said he'd win the guineas. Did he? Yeah, I hope he's right. He better be. He better be. It's <laughs> a bold shout, isn't he it? He did. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> I told the owner that straight away, and it kind of, you know, made defeat. I'm not going to say a little bit sweeter, but a little bit less disappointing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, you know, we're very hopeful. He gives himself every chance of getting that trip because he's very sensible and he doesn't pull. So I, he can get him on, no problem. How about your rest, the rest of your chances this meeting? You've got three in our next. What have you, what have you got tomorrow? Oh, you've got a, something in the superlative, haven't you? You've got um, dark... Dark 30. Dark 30, yeah. thank you. That race cut up a little bit. Yeah. Um, I like the horse and I think he'll, he'll love the, the seven furlongs. Now we know that he gets a seven, we ride him like that. Yeah, he got it very well at Ascot and we can ride him a little bit more prominent than we did last, the last time. Very nice <coughs> horse with a, with a big future. He's very big to think he's running these races as a two-year-old as he is now, but he is, so let's, let's have a go. Okay. And the three in the next? Which one do you prefer? The Witch Hunter would have needed that big time last time at Windsor. Bosch has always been a very good horse. On his day, he, he'll be pretty much anything. But, you know, they all, they all have a chance. Okay. Next um, question. Don't be difficult. Well, uh, you, you, no, well I, I, teed, I teed you up to ask about it because there was be news, nice, nice there were, there were news today from the disability panel that you have been fined £10,000 for a arsenic, arsenic, arsenic result. That was the back end of 2019. My first question was, are you going to appeal? No, not going to appeal. And, you know, my grandfather fed the seaweed and my father did and you know it, it became very complicated the, the science of it and I didn't willfully carry on but they when the BHA informed me that they, my horses went over the, the threshold so there's no need to stop and my one horse did test positive he was having his fifth run of the year his fifth test and you know, he's so far over he can't possibly anyway that's all for another day but if I'm a cheat I'm a pretty bad one and I'm not did you feel you got a fair hearing? Yeah. In, yeah. Yeah. In, yeah, in areas, yeah. Thank you. Okay, Richard, thank you.
Ross Ryan has won the Group 2 July Stakes on board Persian Force for Richard Hannon. Many congratulations. That looked straightforward, was it? Yeah, it was. Um, I wasn't going to get left today like I did in Ascot. And, uh, no, I got him out well and he just relaxed and that kind of, it just makes my life a lot easier that he, he relaxes so well and um, I was adamant from the maiden in the first after Rafe's horse came down the middle that I'd be, I'm drawn that way, I'd come towards the stand side and use the rail and um, there looked to be a lack of pace but to be fair, Sean went on and, and Brian Meehan, so it works well. lovely, but I, I just wanted that rail for guidance, and uh, uh, he's won it impressively in the end. You think the ground is better then? I don't know. I just more put it down to for two-year-olds. Just have a running rail to run against, you know, and even I hung off the rail in the end, but... And he probably doesn't need it, but it's just, you know, every little bit helps, you know. And um, especially when Dan Muscat got on the rail on his arse that just so on, so I thought it looked, it looked uh, a safe bet. Well, many congratulations, I'll let you get your trophy.